If you guys enjoy the content on my art videos, um, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, Odyssey. You can also find me on TikTok as well. Okay, with that said, let's see what we can learn today. Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Jace Reaver and today we're going to be focusing on body types again for men. And we're going to be focusing on two types of body types. It's, I think, the triangle and the rumpus or the square. Either one of those two. Um, so this is going to describe the type of body type uh, these two characters have. From My Hero Academia, we have All Might and Endeavor. We are there are special guests today. It seems like you guys actually enjoyed the last videos that I've been doing by pointing out uh, like certain character design uh, traits that characters have, so you can break them down more easily, so you can draw your characters much more accurately. Now I did some things that's uh, a little bit ahead of time, so I didn't have to like draw it, and then you guys have to sit there and blah 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 and make it more time. I'm trying to make them as short as possible, but as but also make them as um, informal as possible. So. Anyway, so right now we're going to be focusing on probably All Might first, and then we'll focus on Endeavor next, uh, and I'll explain why. Now, we're going to be focusing on him, so I'm going to take out Endeavor. Well, actually, I'm going to keep him there. Uh, I'm going to keep him there for that. Anyway, so, um, so the type of body type that these two have is uh, more of a triangle or somewhat of a rumpus or like a or, or, or a square-ish type of body. Nothing close like Roadhog from the last video because he had more of a belly gut. And so it was like more squarish to like fat square to more just a, um, a circle. So for uh, All Might, I did already the whole character design, uh, keeping things in proportion and all that stuff. This is something you guys should sure learn. Um, if you don't know how to do this, I did explain this in my last video. Um, in uh, the Roadhog one, so I'll put it the link on the side over there if you guys don't know how. Um, I'll explain more on this uh, technique in um, later future, uh, future videos to get more in depth on how to do this to keep things 100% um, proportioned. Uh, but right now we're just focusing on the body type and what you should look for when creating your character. So, um, so what I did is I put all the lines here to the joints uh, where uh, the body pretty much like connects from the knees to the ankles. I didn't do much of the arms here because both arms are up here. You can see like his, oops, hold on, he's loaded and damn it. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. So you can see both his arms, um, as you can see, uh, is up. So it's gonna, it's not gonna be 100% uh, accurate on that point, but I'm gonna make this darker. Um, uh, from that point, you can see that and they're more up so you know um but if they were they will be pretty much in sync with each other but it is what it is um so i did the head and everything so the type of body type he has is more like a triangle and to i guess determine this is that how close are the love handles or the the top handles like the love handles here but like i forgot what this is called uh the, i don't know the medical term for the chest, uh, the upper, uh, I think the obliques, I think that's right. Yeah, I think the, these are the obliques, please, if anyone in the comment section, you can put in, in um, if I'm saying the right one or not. And right here is the love handles. So his love handles are more closer than anything, and if anything, uh, all might look like he has at least 5% or less, or probably, yeah, 10 to 5% body fat. Uh, meaning that it's really thin, so you can pretty much see everything. Uh, I'll make it easier for you. You can pretty much see everything, um, even through the skin tight suit. I don't know how skin tight it is, I'm pretty sure it is, but just the fact that his body is pretty much defined just from the skin tight suit shows how um, his body is uh, really in shape. Uh, given that his quirk makes him bigger, unlike his, uh, his regular form, but I'm not going into detail on that. Uh, that's for those who are fans and watch the show, but this is just for character design purposes um, Just to let you guys know no, these drawings are mine. I'm gonna just keep hammering that in This is just for educational purposes for you guys to learn or at least learn something from this So you guys know what to look for Okay, so his body type is more triangle because it's, it's a perfect shape. It's like one two three even when his arms are up, it's pretty much the same. Like I, I, I could have been more accurate with this, but it's one, two, three, to the crotch, all the way to the shoulders. It's perfect, right? 
and because of that his body is more closer it's more tighter and everything like that uh, his legs as you can see I'm gonna point this out his legs um, let me see. Yeah, his legs here are very tight. It's very up there and everything else like that. As you can see, you know, it's more, uh, there's no fat whatsoever. There's no, it's, it's all muscle here. So it is what it is. Uh, same thing with Endeavor. I'm gonna turn to him real quick. Um, he's the same when it comes to the legs. Not all that much, cause All Might seem like he's been training a lot more harder. Uh, Endeavor's legs are still in shape, but like they're not as, I guess you say, as more tight compared to um, to All Might, as you can see. I'm sorry, I'm making much of a big mess out of nowhere. I'll take this away. Um, come on, let me see. Can I get rid of this? No, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna erase the triangle. But uh, anyway, so his legs are in shape, but they're not as tight as um, uh, All Might. And as you can see from from the pelvis. Here, oh, why is my thing? Of the pelvis here and here, all might is more tighter. As um, uh, Endeavor is more square, more wide open, as you can see. See, as you can see, um, it's going in and out. Endeavor is more like just straight down, as you can see. I know the the um, the angle is a little bit different, given that he, um, all might is going straight down in front, and Endeavor is kind of on this somewhat three-fourths uh, angle here and uh, I know that's a little bit I'm not gonna say cheating but I, I can say like it's it, it's gonna make the perspective a little different but as you can see uh, you can see that Endeavor is more of a square if anything uh, or a rumpus I think I think a rumpus is like it's like a it's like a it's like a triangle trying to be a square it's like a square and triangle being like the same or something like that. I think that's just called a rumpus uh, because he's more wider um, compared to uh, um, All Might. Oh, don't want to ruin that. Nope, don't want that. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, so we got pretty much that broken down. So, just to show anything of drawing, because I know you guys are looking forward to that, you have to look at these things very closely. You must understand your forms, your anatomy. All that stuff and no when I say learn your anatomy I'm not talking about know every single medical term or anything like that you're not a doctor you're just trying to have a good understanding of what goes at what like you're not trying to know the the the, the inner insides of like the spleen and all that stuff unless you're like uh, doing some type of medical character design like uh, like monsters or uh, or like some type of um, uh, I can say like a like a probably like a zombie or or like uh, if you're doing like horror like anime or drawings and stuff like that uh, that shows like guts and stuff and or you're doing like Resident Evil stuff like if you're doing stuff like that then that's something you have to take in like consideration but when you're doing like surface surface level stuff like just drawing a character in general and trying to make them look like you know e equal and stuff that's something that you don't have to really look into so it is what it is um so yeah so we have that um, he's more triangle he's more straight on uh, his obliques and, 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 and love handles are more close to the triangle so it seems more like bang 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 everything's in quite and in, 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 uh, in equal and equality of each other I can't talk today um, and stuff like that so um, in the last video, I also mentioned that uh, joints and body types uh, with arms and stuff like that is something important. But as you can see, um, between Endeavor and All Might, the arms are pretty much the same. Like, uh, there's no need to do the uh, S, M, or Big. This is something I learned from um, um, Modern Dean James. He was doing something around these lines of putting an S, M, and B, meaning uh, small, uh, medium, and big, uh, depending on how you want to design certain arms and stuff like that. I will put that in the recommendation of Martin Day and James. It's an awesome technique that you could, you guys can learn if you want to make your arms look kind of like different. If you're doing some type of like character design based on monsters or um, 
uh, certain types of um, characters that you want to look a certain way or aliens or anything like that because he does a great job explaining this better than I do um, but the thing is uh, th their arm type is pretty much the same like it's pretty much all balanced all around like uh, uh, I guess like it's small medium and big that's pretty much or just small medium medium if anything it's not super big but like their arms are pretty much the same so there's nothing really to look forward to because like in this lesson we're mainly just focusing on pretty much the pelvis the overall stomach um, the obliques the love handles the widening of the chest and I guess the legs as you can say and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what we're focused on today. Nothing crazy. We're not even focusing on head or anything like that. We're just focusing on the overall body type of the character. And since the arms are pretty much the same, um, in, uh, well, not all the same, but like Endeavor's arms are a little bit here, a little more smaller compared to All Might's arms. But really, they're, that's not something to be really focusing on. We're just focusing on like from the back, like, like I even picked these because of the back, as you can see, um, yeah, let's it that way, as you can see, like, um, uh, All Might's back, here, and here, and here, you see how it's just wide, because he's, he's pretty much flexing, but, like, if he wasn't, he'll be pretty much here, that's why, as you can see, the lines I put here doesn't really fit all that much, but his neck and trap still stays the same here that you can see but the only thing that's different is the arms being flexed you know what I'm saying so just to make sure on anything when you guys are drawing your arms or drawing your characters always do what I did in the last video um, this is just a reference so if you're doing reference and I'm telling you this people if you're using reference that is perfectly fine if anyone tells you Oh, before anything, reference is good for you for those who are just starting or those of you who are beginners or even if those are more experienced. Sometimes you just need to brush up on your references if you're trying to get a certain angle or a certain, you know, dynamic pose or gesture. You, there's a gesture that you're having tr um, trouble with. It, like, it's good to learn reference. Use that reference as a visual library for your mind. And then what you can do to also better yourself is try your best not to look at the reference and try to see what you memorize much as possible. But don't think you using um, reference makes you an evil person or makes you some type of cheater or whatever the case may be. It does not make you a cheater if you're using reference. Nothing's wrong with reference. You're not tracing it and then calling it yours. That's, that's wrong. Don't do that. that that's wrong. Only villains do that, and if anyone tells you that using reference is evil or wrong, they're a villain too. Never do that, as said from All Might. Never, just, just don't do it, okay? Use reference if you need it. For anyone who's experienced or anyone who's just starting, no matter what age group you are, or, or what gender, or what you, oh crap, whatever you identify with, using reference is a universal thing that every artist from professionals to animators and, and everything uses that it's a great way to learn it's not the end-all be-all but is a great tool to learn it is a tool okay so if anyone tells you different they are a villain I'm just telling you that's that's just what it is so let's go to endeavor here here now I didn't put any squares or anything on them yet because I just wanted to show you guys what I was meaning with the whole triangle thing so I'm going to turn him down right here and I'm going to use a red to really point out the way he looks. So his back, oops, I don't have the, okay, there we go. His back here uh, is here. Uh, make sure, okay, that's the right one. His back here, let's make this a little thinner. His back here is here, 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 and here. I'm saying like that's 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 pretty much his back because if you look at All Might from his glutes meaning his butt to his obliques to his shoulders it's a perfect triangle because it pretty much touches the size of the triangle pretty much uh, I'm pretty sure those of you who are more professional at character design 
that is not the best way to look at it but then again that's how I do it so you know it's it is based on my experience so I'm not saying this like as a professional but I'm saying this as someone who's used this as a learning curve for me to understand body types that just works for me um, but then again those of you who are more professional than I am can tell you maybe that's not the right way but like that that right there tells me his body's more square um, and then here to here do it again I would use a perfect um, square myself but I'd rather just write this one uh, and then here to here oops here to here that and like that and up here and you can see I'm trying to make this as not too thin as possible, but I'm trying to my best to do this. Uh, as you can see, that his body type is more square. Even though it could be considered triangle, it's compared to All Might, his whole stomach here and here are wider and much more uh, fatter. Not fat, but like, he's not fat. I'm not saying that. but more wide he's more wide more burly compared to uh uh all might so that's something to look towards to, to, to actually like look toward like like right here like from here to here like i pointed earlier that all might and um endeavors uh pelvis are much well his is much wider and his is much like thinner much more tighter around the waist area their waist and pelvis are just much more wired than the other and that's something you should look forward to so like if you're making burly characters i think endeavor would be a perfect um example of this because if you even watch the movies and shows he's a lot bigger um and much wider uh and stuff like that uh compared to all might but all might usually wears like skin tight stuff most cases so it shows his body a lot more compared to endeavor you know what i'm saying um, it is what it is. So, this is something you guys should look towards and look forward to and um, take in consideration. Uh, when it comes to shoulders, well not shoulders, but like neck. The neck between All Might and Endeavor, it's not that far. It's, it's honestly not that far. I'm pretty sure it's quite the same. You can't see it here, I'm sadly I can't. But I did put the line, so... Uh, where the neck is so we're, we're pretty much this whole line here for Endeavor Simplifies where his neck is or the traps are so you have an idea where it's located uh, That's what character design does it keeps things proportioned even if you can't see Certain parts like the fire is actually like in the way you know where the neck is so it gives you a, a sense of uh, you know where to locate and where not to locate so um, so just also last thing we're going to get into this because this is the pretty much the last part because I there's nothing else I can really just break down other than just pointing X Y and Z uh, now the drawing parts here okay so the last part here is pretty much breaking down all the little pieces and parts so I'm gonna just show you guys I might even do a speed paint on this I'm gonna just show you guys here 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 and then this so you guys know what joints you're supposed to be looking forward to uh, like here, 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 and here, and the hands are here, here. Uh, wait, you gotta fix up like that. I'm done. Now the reason I did this is because, um, like I mentioned before, uh, you can always work on your gestures. That's something you should work on, or understand the skeleton. Once you understand the making skeletons of your characters, whether it be male or female, everything else kind of flows easier because once you make your skeletons more fluid, more easier to oops, more easier to read and stuff like that, you can now add like body uh, like muscles and stuff. And like I said, you can do the the, the modern day James um, technique with the S, the M, and the V, or vice versa. You can actually make B, M, and S. So uh, let's use, for example, B is for big, M is for medium, and S is for small. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm pointing out uh, what the arms should look like 
uh, based on those uh, those uh, uh, syllables. So uh, symbols. So um, like for instance, the shoulders are gonna be really big. I'm saying like really really big. The arms are going to be like medium size compared to the. I know they're not gonna look perfect. This is not what the point is. I'm just using a sketch, and the arms are gonna be small. See see how that works. It, it's gonna be small, um, like width size. I'm saying it's not gonna in length. It's gonna be much bigger because it's like I think forearm. But you know. Okay, and then as you can see, like burly men are more square. Sometimes even more softer. Uh, depending on what you want. When I say burly men, they're more like the lumberjack type of character type who are like, they're, they're strong, they're big, but yet they're not, they're, their muscles are not 100% like defined depending on how you want your burly men to look like. Sometimes they look pretty soft. Sometimes they could look a bit chubby depending on what you want, I'm saying. But, uh, and I say chubby, I'm not talking about they have fat on them. They're just their, their stomach is just not that defined. It's more like, uh, you see, for instance, uh, let me see, let me, let me take this off right here. Take a break here. I'm just using this as an example. It's not supposed to look like a masterpiece. I'm just explaining something. So like some burly men will have, hold on, like this. They'll have like, like some um, muscle like here and then that's pretty much it. And that's it, you know what I'm saying? But like people like All Might, um, or men like All Might who work every day, who eat like a certain amount of food, or like um, who do dieting and stuff like that, which I know he doesn't really do that, it's part of his quirk, but I'm just using it as an example. Uh, you can see more of the obliques, you can see the definition, um, the more tightness around the waist, um, from, the, uh, from the waist to the, um, Love handles, there's little to no love handles. When I say little to no, like you're always gonna have love handles. It's just not gonna be as like, like poking out. You know what I'm saying? It will never poke out. Like, like uh, characters like um, uh, Endeavor will probably poke out a little bit, like out there. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense because it's not like he's totally in shape, but he won't have that uh, that toot pace. Like his waist is like this, and then. As you can see, I wish I can zoom in on this. Let me zoom in on this. You won't have that toothpaste like look like he's being squeezed from the waist and then it kind of like muffin tops himself or anything like that. No, it, it, it would be poking out, but it won't be, it will just make him look square. You know what I'm saying? Unlike All Might, it goes like that. Like it, it, it kind of just, it just, um, what is it called? It, it hourglasses itself. There we go. It hourglasses itself, so it, it looks natural. It looks right. It looks uh, more uh, in shape, more defined, and stuff like that. And see, as I'm putting more definition, you can tell it's going straight towards like here and here. Like it's like falling towards this way. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, then I may have to redo this video one day uh, or in time. So that that's something you should look towards and look uh, into when drawing characters in a certain way. Um, because in even the crotch area, like it, it's more defined. <laughs> funny to say, it's um, more defined and it's like just tight, and everything else is in uh, in, in in line with each other. Unlike, uh, I'm not gonna say endeavors like this. I'm just using him as an example, but he's a lot squarer than uh, All Might. You can at least admit that by based on this um, character design sheet that I found on the internet, based on I think it was on Pinterest or it was on Google um, Images. But I'm just using this as a uh, form of uh, reference to explain. Uh, to, to like build your characters and stuff like that and I'm just saying again I know these sketches are not like masterpieces or anything like that but this is just the overall understanding of how to create your characters and stuff like that I tend to repeat myself a lot I, I, I'm starting to realize I'm starting to hear myself like a hollow chamber <laughs> but it is what it is uh, 
So um, I think I pretty much hit the hammer here. Um, so the, just to recap on everything we've learned pretty much, uh, the only thing you guys have to realize is this. I'm going to show you. Uh, number one, Okay, so number one, when building your character, you always should have keep your proportions in line. That's one thing you need to always keep your proportions in line. That's something you should always have in mind. Keep proportions when you're um, creating your character. Uh, that's one. Two, understand the type of body type they may have, whether it be a triangle or a uh, rumpus or a square. I'll say a square or a rumpus. I'll say more of a square just to make it easier on you guys so you guys can have an understanding of what I'm saying here uh, and stuff like that. Keep the square. Um, I'll say his is like a square. Oops, spell that wrong. And then over here is a, uh, let's see, like a triangle. Oop, type, I can't talk, I can't spell, I can't, I can't write today, Jesus. Anyway. So like that, that's the type of um, body type. You should understand the body type. You should understand um, the proportions. And then you should understand your forms. Meaning like, uh, oh, actually no. You should learn your gestures as well. Um, know your gestures, like your skeletons. Know your skeletons, your gestures. Understand your proportions and understand your forms. If you understand these four things, your forms are pretty much uh, making sure that the form is working with the body type or with the skeleton. So it has this like round off like look. You see how that works? Like for instance, let me, let me make it more thinner. Like, like you can break it down into these forms. Instead of just drawing a square, you, you make it more round off. You can understand these things. Uh, this is something you should really sh practice if you want to draw virtually anything. If you understand forms, the contouring of a character or anything like that, these are things you guys have to look into. So that's something you, got, you guys should really start learning if you're having a hard time drawing body types and stuff like that. So. Um, it is what it is. So with that said, I'm going to just say again, you must know your gestures. When you get your gestures and your skeletons all intact, uh, learn your, propor your proportions. And then when you learn your proportions, or lower your forms. I'm not saying this in any particular order, um, but I think the first thing you should learn is your gestures and then your f forms and then, you know, your proportions. Uh, I think proportion should actually come last, if anything, because um, you can always use the, the line method like I have here and keep things pretty much in form and, and intact, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So with that said, guys, I think I hit the mark with drawing your characters a certain way or a case may be. I hope that helped in any way. If not, let me know, put it in the comments section if you learned anything or it was a lot of babbling and blah, blah, blah. So I want to know so I know what to focus on and what not to do. Um, I'm always trying something new for every video just to see what sticks. Um, it seems like nearly everything's kind of sticking, but you know, it, it, some things, some videos did better than others, so it is what it is. Um, I will be uh, posting my Patreon at the the first of December so you guys look out for that I need to start doing that because uh, I need to if for me to make these videos I need to have some support system so I can have time to make these videos so you guys can learn from me so I can make more in-depth videos on patreon and make it more longer and stuff like that so you guys can get some money's worth instead of like getting YouTube type of tutorials uh, you know with that said all right Guys, thank you so much for coming in. I'm Jace Reaver, who is also our Tetris. You guys can hit me up on Instagram. That's where I usually am. And I hope you guys have a great day. I hope everything works out for you guys based on the lesson of today. I don't I don't feel like this lesson was like, like hard hitting or anything like that. So I need to know based on you guys' um, comments on what 
if this was helpful or not. I feel like it somewhat was. I think most of it was a lot of like fluff, uh, in my um, opinion, but uh, I could be wrong. So based on my explanation, I hope it, it helps. But if for some weird reason my videos does not do you guys any good, I put recommendations based on this very topic so you guys can look into uh, body types and stuff. So those recommendations are from other YouTubers who have done this before I have or have explained this better than I have. Uh, so from Proctor uh, Pro 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 Panko, can't say his name, or uh, Modern Day James and uh, uh, Why Manga. So th those type of um, um, uh, artists uh, you can always look into as well. So with that said, have a great night, guys. I'll see you guys next week, this coming Sunday, to, for the next lesson. And if you guys want to help on the Patreon or anything like that, and see my methods on how I make my videos and stuff like that, uh, it'll be up on the 1st of December. So it'll be cool if you guys support or become first Patreon. It'll help me and make better um, content for you guys in time and stuff like that. So. Have a great night, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.